My name is Kimberly. I am the executive director at Salem Pregnancy Care Center, and this is our first vision dinner. The ministry itself has done dinners for about 40 years, um, but our maximum amount raised has stayed the same for the last 10 years. We've made lots of changes, but um, none of them seem to make any difference. We've done every way. So we, we sold tickets, we didn't sell tickets, we sold tickets again, we stopped selling tickets. We tried silent auctions, we tried a live auction, we've tried, uh, we tried a virtual dinner over COVID, um, we tried big name speakers, we tried no name speakers. Um, I think that we went through everything except we never put a match with the dinner before. We never did the name storming session and that was, was very new to us. We got so many people who we never would have thought would be interested in not even coming to the dinner, like much less being table host. So that was a game changer for sure. Last year for our dinner, we raised around $140,000. Um, that's the same amount that we've raised for the last several years, um, no matter what we tried. Um, and then this year, we raised a little over $300,000. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so we had 140 and then we raised over 300,000. So it's over double what we've raised in the past, which is pretty awesome. We started off just being on Thursday night and had to mm -hmm. actually had to add that additional night. This was also a year where we did not have a big name speaker. Our executive director was our keynote speaker. And yet, even with all of that, we still had the success that we had. So it's true that you don't have to pay, you know, big bucks to get a, a speaker to come in and still do well with your dinner. What would you say to a pregnancy center director or a board member who's watching this video? They're considering joining the Perfect Vision Dinner, but they're a little skeptical. What would you say to someone like that who's on the fence? I would say that it does appear to be a lot of money on the surface, but your dinner is going to cost you so many thousands of dollars anyway that just add it to your budget and, and go ahead and do it because it's going to make a big difference as long as you're willing to put the work in. From the beginning, I think looking at it from a different mentality of the abundance mentality, you know, Kimberly made it a point that anything that we could do to follow the instructions and follow what you guys have put together in your plan that we needed to do. And it's just, you know, having that plan there and having someone to help hold you accountable each week with the check-ins was important. <laughs>